Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you in my unboxing and initial impressions of the Huawei P20 Pro. This device was announced last week on the 27th and is going to be available to be purchased on the 6th of April in 2018 for anybody that wants to pick up the P20 Pro. The P20 I think as far as I understand has already been available since the 27th. Uh, but let's not waste any time. I want to share with you guys why I'm excited about this 40 megapixel supporting three camera setup device that's promising us to be the best camera in 2018. Here we are, uh, Huawei P20 Pro. The P20 again is available currently to be picked up and the P20 Pro will be available on the 6th. Uh, this is a triple camera setup, obviously engineered or co-engineered with Leica. The P20 Pro is the flagship of all the three devices. There is a P20 version as well as a P20 Lite. The P20 Lite obviously being more of the entry level, the P20 is more of your standard. And then of course, P20 Pro is your obviously your granddaddy of other devices. Uh, as far as the case that I have here, this is just a one of their soft touch silicon cases. Very simple to use, very easy to uh, just to snap on, and it's very much just basically non-slip rubber on the outside, very soft on the inside to protect our device. And you'll notice that extended opening right there. The device itself, this is called the Twilight Color. I hope you guys could see that. There's a, a little bit of a, a gradient, a gradient uh, coloring here, starting over purple from the top, a blue at the bottom, and it kind of merges in the middle. And of course, we have the three camera setups that are sitting right there. Uh, on the right side, we have a volume rocker, power button accented with a red uh, piece in the middle. Nothing on the left other than the SIM card, uh, SIM tray, which supports dual SIM. There is no SD card support here, so the 128 gigs of internal storage are going to be basically what you're where you have. Although 128 gigs is a lot, um, and again, this variant has two SIM card support on the top. We have an IR blaster where the P20 Pro, P20 does not have it, or the P20 and Lite does not have it. One of the microphones on the bottom we have dual speakers with a usb type c noticing there is no three and a half millimeter headphone jack so that means everything's going to be done using usb type c although we are promised dolby atmos support with the headphone adapter that is included um, and of course stereo speakers with the top piece and the bottom being plain as a tweeter at the top and the earpiece at the bottom for the mids and lows fingerprint sensor is at the front uh, that's not in the back you notice there's nothing and so there's nothing really to kind of cover up the device and basically lock up or take away from the look we do have a notch and we'll get a chance to get into that. Uh, just real quick as far as the specifications, we are looking at the 6.1 inch Kirin 970 chipset uh, with the uh, NPU to be able to do the new master AI NPU uh, built in. We have six gigs of internal of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, non-expandable with an SD card. So no SD card support, no three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And you read it right there, gorgeous OLED display. Now there is a screen protector that's already applied to this, so you don't have to apply another one. But if you do want to get another one, make sure that you remove this one first. Uh, on the back, I know this is going to be a fingerprint magnet. I'm not touching it on purpose, so you guys could see how nice and shiny. I mean, I mean, let's let's just say here, right here. How you guys? How are you doing? Can you see me? <laughs> That's how reflective this thing is. Uh, it's beautiful. And of course, uh, this case that we have here is definitely going to be able to provide us that protection that we were talking about fits in perfectly. And you still have a little bit of an accent here for the coloring on the display. Uh, the remaining thing is we have a SIM, char SIM card removal tool, Huawei Quick Charge, of course, as we do have a support for that here. A USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here for the adapter to be able to use your headphones. Uh, we have obviously USB type A to USB type C cable for data and for power for directly from the brick. And we do have USB type C adapters, uh, earbuds here for you to use. Looking over the device, I went through and set up my device. And again, as I mentioned to you guys, I've been using the device for about a week now. And I wanted to share with you guys some of the main experiences here. I left the plastic wrap on it because I wanted to share with you guys the unpacking of that. But overall, the device itself is very fast. And here's the fingerprint sensor. Again, screen is off, fingerprint sensor on super fast. Screen unlocking also works pretty good. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Here you go, unlock, locked, unlock. I'm looking at it. And if I don't look at it, it locks in back to the screen itself. Uh, one of the main things that they did advertise during the actual announcement is the fact that it, has, it is running basically a much more improved front-facing camera to be able to give us better optics. Uh, as far as pictures for selfies, you have a 24 megapixel sensor on the front that's unheard of in a front-facing camera. I mean, the most I've heard was a 13 megapixel, but anyways. Uh, the front-facing camera provides really good uh, accurate reading of your face. If you're not looking at it directly, it won't work. The fingerprint sensor is lightning fast. Uh, the UI overall, we're running Android 8.1 with EMUI 8.1. I did turn on the app drawer. That's just my personal preference. Uh, you do have Google Feed on the left side and, of course, more apps on the right side. Uh, the UI itself, if you noticed out of the box right there, you have that little notch, which all of the sensors are there. 
and I'm going to say this right now because I'm sure everybody will ask, uh, realistically, after a, even about a day worth of usage, you stop seeing the notch. The notch is no longer uh, there because most of the uh, applications that you use, let's say we go to Google Play, you notice it kind of just puts a bar there. So you're not really looking for any data to be there. And notifications and then little uh, notification dots that we get around it, all of those things usually just go around. They never really go to the center. So very pleased with the implementation. I like the fact that it's super small, but if you definitely don't like it, and you want to get rid of it, uh, you do have the ability of getting rid of it. So you'll go here under the notch size and you say hide the notch, go home. You'll notice it just adds a bar around it and it basically just permeates through the rest of the UI. So it shrinks the screen slightly. So that's personally my preference. I would just say leave it as default. I want to get that additional 18.7 by 9 aspect ratio. And that's because what we have here on this 1080p OLED display, uh, the better display and that notch just kind of throws off the aspect ratio slightly. Stereo speakers are very nice. The volume on this is very, very good. Audio represent audio playback on this is really, really good, uh, especially on the speaker. So let's go ahead and open up. You, we'll go ahead and play a song real quick for you guys. Sounds really, really good. Um, I think, or it seems like it actually tunes itself. So when it knows it's in portrait, it plays it in a slightly different tone where it gives more power to the bottom speaker. And when you do go to landscape, it just jumps at you right there and it goes pretty well. Uh, YouTube, or as far as uh, video playback. So hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a quick review. So YouTube playback is very simple. Zooming in, zooming out is present right there. And again, uh, the screen itself is it does have picture in picture. If you have YouTube Red, if you do not have YouTube Red, that's unfortunately something that's not going to work. Uh, so say not now. I'm just going to say play. You'll notice I'm right there in full screen. And then when I go home, the screen goes in. So picture in picture, very nice, very present. I can pause, I can close the main star of the show. And that's going to be these guys. These three camera setups or these three sensors on the back, as well as the laser autofocusing system is really where this thing just takes it, it blows things out of the water. We have um, three sensors on the bottom here. We have a mono sensor here, which is a 20 megapixel mono sensor that's able to give us better uh, darkness and light. So basically black and white for just the color depth and, and details in the image. We have the main 40 megapixel sensor right there. And you can see how much bigger the sensor opening is right there as well as an 8 megapixel sensor on the right, and that's given us the three, uh, three times optical zoom. We have a laser autofocus or a laser focusing system that has a transmitter and receiver that's sitting right between those two sensors, as well as what we have here is a light sensor, which is again something very new, and of course the LED flash on the back. And the camera setup, when you go in, you have a few dials at the bottom. We have portrait is turned on and you have four, here's portrait. We have night mode, which just, just pump, punches the, the color out and just usually uses the F1.6 sensor in the back. Aperture just gives us that real, just uh, be able to give us a bokeh effect and you can configure it here and with the jog dial. The night mode uh, really shines in that uh, video and that image that I showed you guys as when you turn down the light. So let's go ahead and do a quick example. I'm going to start off by saying, obviously, you could see there's a little bit of a shadow here with this uh, candle. This is a birthday candle. It's a blue and white birthday candle. And I'm just going to put the sensor right above it and you could see how it's just going to, I'm going to just tap it once and I'm going to take a picture and you're going to notice right there. It's going to do a little bit of a circle. It's going to try to punch out the light as much as I can. And this is again, handheld. I'm not using a tripod. I'm doing this handheld with you guys. And let's go ahead and bring it in and just look at how much light it was able to bring in and how sharp the actual candle image is. This is just taking us right there. This little, this little candle, it has very little light and it just did such an amazing job. Look at the detail. This, this is just absolutely amazing of what you can do, what you can expect with this uh, Louvre Museum. And you could just see how much light, how much detail. This is just exposure. It punched out the light. It just gave it so much more detail and it was taken at night. This is ridiculous. Of course, I can't go without saying that the Eiffel Tower is the best subject at night as it lights up and they have a twinkling effect that goes on at the top of every hour. And it's absolutely amazing. Here's a quick front facing video sample of the 24 megapixel front facing sensor. This is at 1080p to stay consistent with the rest of the video. If you have any sensors or any uh, filters turned on, it's automatically going to cap at the 720p. So just be aware of that. Went ahead and switched over to the back facing sensor. This is just a quick audio and video sample just showing you 
new handheld. Um, and we want to see basically how the performance of the video comes out of this when you're using it handheld. Now, after using this for about a week, again, keeping in mind this is pre-production stuff, um, I'm going to say I'm very impressed. I'm impressed with the way the uh, UI and uh, basically the overall package was put together. Uh, the battery life on this 4,000 milliamp battery that's built into this, which is another main benefit of going to the pro side as far as the P20, um, is very, very nice. The battery would last me almost forever. Uh, we were using GPS navigation when we were in Paris for the metro, for the bus sta station, or even going to different spots. I had GPS running the whole time. Uh, the display is a 1080p display OLED, so it's A, tuned to be less consuming for the fact that it's 1080p OLED. That's the other thing, giving you much better battery life. Um, I did apply the black theme or the dark theme right out of the box from here by going into the battery settings. And um, I'm using, of course, the front face unlock uh, functionality. The fingerprint sensor is super fast. And I have to say, I'm very, very much impressed with the way the P20 series has come along. The last time I had a P20 device was the P9. And at that point, I was very impressed with the dual sensors like the cameras that we had on those. And I took those on a vacation that we went to Disneyland. And I just was blown away with the pictures there. But after seeing this and seeing the low light performance, now Paris is amazing as a city to go during the day. It's even better at night. And having the right camera with you when you go to an event like this or even to a show to a city like that is crucial because otherwise you're just going to get really bad pictures. And uh, again, check my, my Instagram feed. You're definitely not going to be disappointed with the quality of the images that came out of this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are the things that you're looking forward to uh, out of this P20 Pro? And I want to say again, thank you very much to Huawei for allowing us to check out this device. Uh, a lot of cool thing. And the notch, honestly, it's not going to be an issue. After a day worth of usage, your eyes don't see it as it normalizes with the display and you enjoy the content. And of course, if you don't like it, just hide it. Everything is good. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.